because you you can go to professional shoots and the photographer is creepy like yeah. that happens and that's a really tricky situation to be in because mm -hmm. you need to be professional yeah you're in a professional setting and you're there to work and do your job but at the same time which is something that i think the older you get the more you know you just know when to speak up and not just mm, stuff like that so but you can have a weird vibe with people on set as well and it can be a professional setting mm -hmm. and that's where you really need to be like i don't want to say that brave but like it's important to stand up for yourself because yeah. there's things that you know you don't need to start, like stick up with whatever is happening you have the right to speak it up mm. if you're not okay with something um but that can be really tricky especially in the beginning when mm. you're kind of like like when i was younger and and i was shooting um and i remember there were people smoking on set like getting high it can that can turn really weird like mm. you feel a bit that's not okay. Like we're in we're in a professional setting, right? Mm -hmm. But you're you're like okay, and you know this world is a bit weird. And then you know I was quite young at the time, and you're just like okay, like it's cool. This is a professional shoot. Mm -hmm. But then when like the photographer might starting saying weird things, and they like like what? <laughs> Any examples? <laughs> you want to hear it all? Uh, well, he was basically saying that he wanted to see my tits. And I know, sorry, mom, she's gonna listen to this. And it wasn't a part um, of the shoot. Well, it, that's the thing. When you do these kind of shoots, sometimes you do like topless shots, yeah. but it's not like, mm, look at my boobs. Yeah. It was like very, you know, you do Artistic. it. Artistic. Yes. And it wasn't, I didn't feel that it would be in a, any weird way. Like it wouldn't have been a weird shoot, but that made it weird. And I'm like. The, the, the way he commented yeah, on that. Yeah, for because sure. Because like, like, if you need to kind of set up the shot, I understand that you maybe need like a little bit different position or whatever, but say it in a different way. Yeah, you need to be yeah. like. You Professional. A hundred percent. It's like any any job where it includes nudity i think if you're so is like if you're a doctor if you're a i don't know waxing people whatever it is because mm -hmm. that's that's intimate yeah. like whatever if you're seeing a person naked you need to treat it like they're not naked mm -hmm. and that is normal it's not sexualized in any way i mean that's i think that's the main yeah. thing to make it normal and okay mm -hmm. um but things like that and in that sense i remember being like laughing it off a bit or whatever yeah because you're like oh that's a bit weird but okay <laughs> um and now i think i would have been like what the fuck like yeah. i would have been telling him off yeah but i think that comes with age as well but and uh <laughs> Here's the thing, like how, how protected are models in this kind of environment? Because this is official shoot, okay, you came here from your agency, it's official shoot, but at the same time, like how much can you speak up without actually fearing for, I don't know, like getting bad reputation, like she's, she's hard to work with or whatever. Like. Yeah, I know. That is a fine line. I think it also, with this whole Me Too thing that happened, uh, that's got a lot better. So mm -hmm. in general, I think people are more aware of what they're saying and not even getting people to a place where they need to like mm -hmm. speak up. It's not as much of that happening, I want to yeah. say, but there is definitely that and i've had that i've had this quite recently i was on a shoot um and there was just something weird with the photographer like i did not vibe with him i felt really bad energy from him mm -hmm. and it felt like he was only bullying me in a way it was really weird it was a very weird dynamic and this rarely happens but there and then i felt like i almost had to like say something to mm -hmm. him because i was like this is weird like this is off like yeah. what, the, what what's going on yeah. um but i didn't and i think back on my head i didn't because i was worried that you know i wouldn't get booked again or i wouldn't you know you want to be easy to work with like yeah. like you were saying so that is kind of in the back of your head but i think it comes to you need to like find the line like is this worth yeah. bring it up and if it is then you know i think it's worth that risk if they don't book you again they don't book you again and the agency should be behind you like in that sense um but if it's like tiny things like you know you do hear about models that are hard to work with and it might be because they don't want anyone to touch them and it's like well you are a model and you are gonna like people you know fiddle yeah. with your hair and they do like you know they style your clothes and if you're 
that like you might not want to be touched but i think in this job it's tricky certain yeah. things you have to kind of get around of course yeah um yeah. but if you speak up to someone because they behave badly i think that should you might lose the job but the agency should still have your back i think mm -hmm. um do you feel like all agencies are, are good in this way that they are like being behind their clients or or there are some cases when they just like just do the job the fuck we need money come on i think it goes both ways yeah. it really depends on the model and on the like on the agency i mean and i've i've heard some horror stories about that as well i've never been in that situation but like this was also a bit like before me too and everything but like people getting sent to photographers that have a bad reputation like they know mm -hmm. shit shit is wrong there they do bad things um being sent to those photographers saying um this person might be a little bit weird but you know just go along with it because because you know it's going to be really good for a career like i've heard agent like about models getting told that um and that's terrible mm -hmm. like that is not okay in any way um and in that sense the agency don't have your back because they would rather see you mm. getting further in your career rather than keeping you safe it was before me too this, or is it still the, the, the stories i heard was before me too yeah. so i'm sure this still happens mm -hmm. i would say i don't personally this is more like the you know the top top photographers mm -hmm. the high fashion like world um i'm not necessarily in that world mm -hmm. so much anymore so i don't know i'm sure it still happens but I think it's it's a fine line because I think the agent should always be behind you, like behind your back. But at the same time, they want to be on a good side with the clients and they want to mm. keep booking with the clients. So they're always in a bit of a, we hear you and we support you, like we represent you in the end. But at the same time, sometimes you can tell that they also want to please the client. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's tricky. I think if something is really wrong, your agent like absolutely should be behind your back, I think, 100%. Yeah. Otherwise, why do you have them? 